Okay, for being picky, summer doesn't officially start until next week, but there is still a whole lot of summer fun to choose from in Central Florida. And we have a wide range of festivals and performing arts events, and it's hard to keep up with all yes. of this. So to get a run through of what's happening around town, we have our friend Colney Smith from the Creative City Project here. And uh, it's a lot coming up here in the month of June. There's always so much happening here in Central Florida, and it's, it's a lot of fun to get out and do something creative. Yes, and of course we have the kids home, so we have to entertain them because, right. you know, when they're sitting around the house saying they're <laughs> bored, oh. we rely on you, Cole, to tell us what to do. Great. Well, let's do some <laughs> stuff. Uh, Central Florida Community Arts, they produce so much content, so many amazing events, and one of their spectacular assets is their orchestra. More than 150 performers in the Central Florida Community Arts Orchestra, and they produce amazing shows, and so they have one coming up Friday and Saturday uh, called Symphonic Broadway, oh. and it will feature some of the best songs from famous shows uh, on Broadway, and I think people will be familiar with some of that music. And even here, you can see how epic these performances are. Mm -hmm. Great production, great music. I mean, just Hearing 150 musicians play is a unique experience in mm -hmm. and of itself. So that's happening Friday and Saturday. I didn't realize that they had an orchestra, and I'm familiar with them because my daughter's gone to their acting camps because they do so many cool mm -hmm. things over the summer, camps and things like that. So that's amazing. They are just into everything. Yeah, and of course they have a black box theater. They're mm -hmm. about to open a new show in their black, black box theater, which is a smaller experience of maybe just uh, 125 seats. Mm -hmm. So it's a play. You're right up close to the play. And then they do huge performances with their 300-person choir and, uh, and their full orchestra. So they have a show coming up in August, Into the Woods, where they have some of the most talented actors from around Central Florida who play those lead roles mm -hmm. supported by their giant choir. So it'll be a lot of fun. Now, That's what great. about the Downtown Arts District? There's something you can do pretty much every week. Yeah, the Downtown Arts District has City Arts. They're right there in downtown at the corner, uh, downtown Orlando, at the corner of Magnolia and Pine Street. So that's a gallery. They open new shows every week, and ev or, uh, sorry, every month. And every time they open a new show, you can see spilling out into the, into the street there. This is uh, the Rogers Keeney building. They, mm -hmm. they just moved, that was gifted to them by... Uh, Ford Keeney, amazing art supporter here in Orlando. And uh, they have new shows every month, and those kick off as part of their Third Thursday events. And it's not just at City Arts. So next Thursday is the Third Thursday of the mm -hmm. month, and you can start there at City Arts uh, in downtown Orlando. And there's about a dozen galleries around town that are open from that. It goes from 6 to 9 p.m. If you want to bring the kids out to see some art, you can do that as well. Or if you just want to have a nice night walking around with with, uh, maybe a date or something. That's a great yeah. event to do. That's next Thursday, a week from today. So what would you say to somebody who's like, oh, an art gallery seems a little <laughs> fancy and intimidating. I don't know if I want to get in on that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a cool experience to check out. And like you said, For you can sure. even bring the kids. Yeah, it's a night out. And and even if you don't, you, you know, if art feels unapproachable or <laughs> things hanging on a wall don't seem all that fun, you can get out, get a glass of wine, walk around downtown Orlando, and just have a great night out. It's as much of a social event as it is an art event, which is a lot of fun. Yes, and we can't leave out Father's Day. Yeah. So what are some, you know, artsy things we can do yeah. with that? Arts and culture are alive for Father's Day. <laughs> um, and there's a few few things dads can go to for free, which is always fun. Uh, so the Broward Zoo out in Broward County, uh, fathers can get in for free on Father's Day this coming Sunday. Nice. So if you want to get out and take the family to the Broward Zoo, you can do that. And also Lou Gardens um, right there in uh, the Mills 50 district mm -hmm. just north of downtown Orlando. Dads are also free this coming Sunday there. The Brevard Zoo too? Yeah, Brevard okay. Zoo and, uh, and Lou Gardens. Awesome. Lou Gardens always has great stuff going yeah. on. And yeah. it's so close to kind of mm -hmm. downtown Orlando. You can go and do fun things. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, of course.